Good day, people. This is Ohime, and today we are coming to discuss how to invest in real estate with very little money. A lot of people have people ask me, Ohime, I have been watching your videos and I want to start investing in real estate, but the money I have is very little. What I would advise, what I normally tell people is, no matter how little you have, you can start investing in real estate. Some people say, Ohime, I want to buy a plot of land. I want to own this plot of land or this house, but my money is small. I would advise you to start small. Start from the sub, sub, start from the edges of town. Do the suburbs. Start from the suburbs of town. Do not start right now and say, "Oh, I want to start in, re- investing. Or I want to buy a plot of land or a property." And with your little money, you want to go and buy the prime areas in town. That what that those places, your money cannot be enough to invest there. So I always advise people to start from the edges of town, the suburbs, the outskirts of town. In those areas, the land values are very cheap and also you can get good deals, good houses at very good prices. And also those areas are up and coming. So many people have not really discovered those areas. You just do your little research, find an area that is up and coming and the price is also okay with for your budget. Then you can go there and then start something there. Do not wait and say, oh, I want to get more money before. Then no matter how late you are, you can do something in real estate. A friend of mine told me, oh, Himi, I want to buy a property or a plot of land in a first class residential area, but my money currently is not enough. So I will save and wait maybe five years. If I get that money, then I can go. Let's say you ask for a plot of land at a prime area and the property or the plot of land is going for, let's say, 200,000 cities. If you, and you currently have 50,000 cities, that's your budget, that's your money. By the time, you, let's say you take yourself maybe a year or two, or maybe three or four years before you can save or invest in or, or find a way of making the extra 150 to make 200,000. By that year or two or that three years, that property that you are seeing that is going for 200,000 would have appreciated in value and it would be going somewhere around with 300,000 or 400,000 or even 500,000. And the money that you saved would not be enough to purchase that property. Meanwhile, those properties that were at the suburbs or the edges of town that you refuse to look at, the, those prices too would appreciate higher. So your 50000 that you hold now that you could have bought at the outskirts of town, now when you go to the outskirts of town, those prices will be going about hundred or 150000 And you have to, with all the money that you save, you have to go back to that place and then buy. Because the ones in town that you've saved for, also the price have also appreciated so much in value. So I always advise you, no matter how little you have, start from the edges or the outskirts of town. Do your search. There are some areas that are up and coming. If you're a, a young guy or even an old person, but you don't have enough resources or much money to come and play in the big leagues in town, you can always start from the outskirts of town and then gradually, gradually you would move up. Because owning a, rel- a piece of property or land in the outskirts of town is way, way, way better than somebody who doesn't own any property. Real estate is the best investment on earth. And if you do it right, you could secure your financial future and you can become financially free via investing in real estate. So I always say, no matter how little you have, find some place that are the outskirts of town that your money can buy. And then buy. don't wait and say, oh, I want to live in this area. I want to live in this first class. I want to live in town. So I'm saving my money. By the time you save your money, that area that you want to buy, that first class area, the property rates would appreciate. The values in that area would appreciate and your money cannot buy. So you always be waiting, oh, I'll buy next year. Next year, every time the value always keeps going up. You just find an outskirts or the edges of town, the suburbs of town. Just invest how, how much, how little you have over there. And then gradually, gradually, you can grow your portfolio. I mean, I started investing real estate in the outskirts of town. I'm still not yet. I still don't own any property in the prime areas or first class residential areas in town. But I started from the outskirts and I'm gradually moving closer to town, to the city center. Gradually, I'm moving gradually. I started when my money was low. So I went to the outskirts of town, invested there, bought plots of land, built houses there. So gradually, gradually, I'm coming up. I'm coming into town. I'm coming to town. As time would come, who knows? I'm owning some real estate, some houses, some lands in very prime areas in town. 
I didn't wait or I didn't say well, I don't have money, so I'm waiting before I get maybe hundred, five hundred thousand or two six hundred thousand cities or dollars or one million dollars, then I'll start. Start with no matter how little you are, you just find something that a good neighborhood that the price appreciates and then buy at a very good neighborhood. And I tell you, you can your the value of the property you've bought would appreciate. And later on you can even sell it and then use part of that money and what you've saved and then you come to town. That, let's say you have fifty thousand now you want to invest and you want maybe first class here you can't buy. So you, I'll advise you go to a, a nice suburb or the outskirts of town, put that fifty thousand into a property or land over there, and then give yourself three years if you did your homework well and your research well. Or if you contacted somebody who knows what he's doing, the person can guide you into areas that are up and coming. You put your money there for three, four years, it will appreciate with my time, even double, it might even double in value. And you find other incomes also to uh, in other ways of saving money. So by the three years' time, your money would have doubled in value. The fifty thousand might have gone to hundred or one fifty thousand. You might also have worked hard, saved some money, made some little investment. Then you can also use that what you've saved to add. To your the land that you already bought the property at that the property has increased in value and then you use it to come and buy a, a property at a prime area. It's always good to do your homework and know what you're doing, but it's better to do invest something little in real estate than say I'm waiting till I get more money. So this is what I felt like sharing with you people, with everybody. We are all learning in this game. I'm a real estate investor. I'm a builder, I'm a real estate agent, and I'm on the journey of making it big in real estate. So I share everything that I, I'm doing. I share my mistakes and everything that I'm doing on you on this platform here so that some people too also can learn from what I'm doing. Gradually, gradually, I know we all get there. This is Ohimi once again. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. Bye.